Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Friday, May 9th, 2014. All right, on the announcements front, yesterday's jobless claims, I would call it whole hum. There is some uh, chest thumping about it, but just didn't really impress me either way. And that was about it for yesterday. For today, we have jolts. Sounds like an energy drink and uh, wholesale trade. It's just out of curiosity, what is Jolt's job openings and labor turnover survey? What the heck? Okay, all right. That's I guess that's cool. All right. Okay, let's see what's going on across the ponds for today. Over in Asia, uh, it was mostly positive. And that's the way that almost all of the exchanges closed. And in Europe, we are negative or red across the board, going through, I guess, what you could call a sell-off over there. Speaking of news, um, I heard something about a new FINRA rule. Now, I'm don't even know who FINRA is. I figured it was some sort of government organization or something like that. But um, that concerns me greatly about intrusion into the privacy of us traders, even just us little retail traders. So um, I want to dig into that a little bit more and see what it's all about and I just might do a separate video about it to alert you folks uh, about what's maybe coming down the pike for us and um, to maybe turn you into some sort of activist or something because I, if it's true it's going to affect us little traders as well as the big guys except for the really big guys like the ones that run the whole show like Goldman Sachs. We know they're running the show. So it's not going to affect them. But they want to make sure that they make it as difficult for us as possible. So I'll be checking that out and I will get back to you and let you know what I found out. All right, let's just shut this down now. Um, okay, so here is my spreadsheet with this gold covered call. That I have out there and last I guess that was in uh, April 14th actually sold a call for 41 cents and we'll take a look at a chart on that and that was right here and I got a pretty good price for it because man did I pick the top there it was just has nothing to do with oh this is a top I'd like to say that but definitely uh, picked it there uh, by accident, totally by accident. And right now there's just nothing going on with gold because if I wanted to do a June 134 and I wouldn't want to do a strike, I don't want to reduce the, the strike amount just in case gold takes off. So I'd only be pulling in 19 cents. And I don't want to go out to July because that's too long. So I'm going to wait. Um, and I can afford to wait, I think. So I'm not going to worry about it for right now. All right. The futures here in the U.S. are looking a little bit red and gold. Um, still significantly far away from that 1300 mark. Which would get me excited about a covered call. And oil's at a hundred dollars and seventy nine cents, up fifty three overnight. That's not good. Price of gas just is not coming down. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the account overall quickly. All right, just uh, scanning down the delta column, we have a lot of negative delta on practically everything except. TLT, which kind of moves counter to the market anyway, and UNP, which uh, it's doing okay right now. 
um, as far as P&L is concerned, oh, we're doing all right. Netflix is the only one that really is of any concern to me right now. And we have Chipotle, which is currently in the money, but still slightly profitable. And that should have an expiration of today. So we'll see how these all play out. Let's shoot over to our... Oh, and also to let you know, yesterday uh, I did close the F5 networks and the Q's trade. All profitable at this point. Don't pay any attention to what it says there. <laughs> I don't know why it says... Well, that's the... Uh, that's the long side. So that's the long contract, so it's going to show the loss still sitting there. And it's not worth it to do anything on these. Um, just because they're only worth two and a half cents, and I would have to pay a transaction fee to. Um, sell that so I'm not and I probably would not be able to get any sort of decent price on it so we'll just let those ride for right now and for the foreseeable future shooting over to the A plus list was well, starting out with Apple throw the analyze tab up here risk profile nothing live going on with Apple right now we are still in a setup on Apple. I have a sense that it's not going to come through for us, but we're still putting it on our list. Alrighty. Amazon. We are in Amazon. We're right around our short strike here. Yes, we're just kind of hanging around there, hoping that momentum is going to give us a nice tidy little profit here max profit is five hundred dollars across these four spreads that I have here so let's hope that that plays out and hmm, yeah we're, we're in a pretty strong downtrend so there's there's nothing going up there as far as uh, Secondary entry is concerned. Boeing, we don't have anything live. Uh, that would have been a good trade, as I mentioned yesterday here, and we could have maybe condorized it in the near future. These are 20 deltas, uh, but nothing at the moment. Baidu, we do have a condor on it. Uh, we're going to see how it behaves here today. I don't have anything that's really telling me to get out of anything at this point. Uh, the 20 deltas, I'm not real excited about the exit points. We'll just keep an eye on what's happening here. This may have been, this may end up to being a troublesome trade here. Celgene, we are in Celgene. Let's see here, our short is at 19 cents. We're probably just going to, let's see here, May. So that's the normal May expiration. Take a look at a chart. We have another week on this. And we still have 19 cents left there. And there's no danger here. Um, no reason to exit early and take our profit, but I'll take a look at it later today and see if, you know, if it really moves down and we can get down to about 10 cents on that short side, I may just get out today. Uh, Chipotle, a little kind of like riding right along the short strike area here. Um, and... We don't have an indicator to get out at this time. Momentum is still red, so we're just going to observe that one today. Costco, is it still... Whoa! What happened yesterday? There must have been something in the news. We don't pay much attention to news. Uh, things like this happen. Um... There's nothing you can do about it if news is going to move something against a position that you have. 
but we are looking to do a 50 delta here if we come up here on the stochastic so we're still waiting on that one CVX nothing live looking to do a 50 delta trying to come down here and touch so we'll keep an eye on that one take a look at the Dow apparently I was uh, considering something here uh, yes this would have been a fil uh, this was a 20 delta trade um, didn't do it could have pulled the trigger yesterday probably maybe I don't know but I didn't Igor alright we're waiting to come down here and catch us an entry FedEx and remember it's Friday so there's probably not going to be any 50 Delta trades from the guru um, <laughs> yeah just a little aside story here my uh, grandson or both of them are pretty avid Minecraft players and I named my character option guru so you know, the question out of them was, well, what's a guru? <laughs> so I had to tell them, sometimes it's me and sometimes it's not. Anyway, um, we're looking at a 50 Delta trade here on FedEx that we didn't do, but it would have been, would have worked out. It's too late now. Uh, F5 Networks. Okay, we uh, got out of that one really early. Uh, anything else coming up? Hmm. Could have been a condorization opportunity, but not with just a week left. I'd like to have this, um, have them both expire a little bit further out than that to condorize it. And this one's kind of moving into a pretty heavy downtrend. So now what we're going to do here is just slide this over to here. I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to change it to a 50 delta because I don't know it may get into a very strong trend so we'll see I'll make up my mind when I get there and then gold we talked about the covered call uh, this was a nice uh, 20 delta trade here uh, didn't do it I hope you guys are taking advantage of this because uh, some of these are looking really, really good. All right, Google, we're waiting for an entry. Nice, strong downtrend. IWM. Uh, looking down. So our Russell trade should be working out pretty good. We have a nice 20 delta here. So let's look at another 20 delta over here. Oops. Okay. All right. Uh, take a look at LinkedIn. I was looking at my P and L by symbol um, yesterday, and definitely have made a lot of money on LinkedIn this year. And we're looking at another 50 delta trade coming up here, possibly in the near future. As a matter of fact, in, in my opinion, just because this is no, it's not very strong. I was going to say maybe I might jump in on this today, but it's Friday and I'm not doing any 50 Delta trades with a, over the weekend holding period. Just my own personal rule. So, uh, 3M, moving on to 3M. Uh, missed, an, missed an entry here. Didn't quite come down and give us the numbers that we are looking for. And of course, the big sell-off yesterday afternoon happened on a lot of equities and definitely in the indexes. Netflix, we have a 50 Delta going on with it. Not sure what's going to happen today. Might have to take a hit on this one. And across two accounts, it could be a hit. But if the other ones come through, it's probably not a big deal, but definitely it took part in the sell-off. So if there's the sell-off continues today, we may just 
hit it on that one. Okay, price line. Uh, they had their earnings. Earnings were good. Market didn't like it. So they beat by a buck and a half or plus, and they still, I don't understand it. But anyway, what's there for us? Well, we have a downtrend. So we're going to move this target over to here and see. Ah, dang, did it again. It's that ring finger that just taps that right mouse button. Okay, uh, that's what we're looking for. Target up here for 50 delta. See if it comes up and kisses it. Uh, the cues we did get out of this one. This had an expiration of this week. So that was successful. And now we are going to just slide our target over. And watch for another possibility of an entry over here. And then there's the Russell. We have a lot in on this one. This is a 20 delta trade that is looking pretty slick and it's almost, where are we at here? 546 out of 818. We are um, two thirds to three quarters of the way there. We'll keep an eye on it for today. Uh, we may take our profits today. I can't imagine anything happening over the weekend that would bring this back up to here to give us any sort of risk. A little concern about the games going on uh, over in Eastern Europe. So we'll have to see. I may pull out of that today. Spiders. Uh, we didn't quite get our hook down here. I don't think that I would ever do a 50 delta trade on SPY, so I'm going to change that. Well, let's see here. I'm going to cancel that. Let's just delete this. And I'm going to move this. Let's see what we'll be looking for. We'll be looking for something down here. But we're going to have to wait a while because... Yeah, we're going to have to wait a while for it to come down and tap that target. TLT, uh, we, out of uh, possible 150, we're at 109 on a series of, and we have another entry coming up here. So we have a setup on TLT. So we'll keep an eye on that. Just enter every time we get a dip here. And not interested in condorizing because it's on a nice move. It's got a nice powerful upward trend with the 20 EMA well above the 50 SMA. Tesla. Yep. How do they do here? They actually made, they are expecting them to report a loss, and they actually made 12 cents, and the market didn't care. Maybe it's that BMW competition that might be moving in. So where are we here? We are now looking at a bear call, and we have a target set. UNP, we're in UNP with a 20 delta trade. We may be setting up for an iron condor here, uh, pretty close to it. I'm going to put a target there. I'll make it a 20 delta. And we'll see if we can condorize that in the coming days. Don't know if I, well, I might condorize it today. So I'm going to put it on my list. And then last but not least is Visa. How are we looking there? We're still looking for an entry. We don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, get rid of this one. And 
move this one over because this is looking like I don't know what this is looking like but we only want one target so this is a setup here for visa even though we have this violation here uh, it's a setup for something and we'll see um, how it looks didn't uh, participate very much in the pullback so this may be in, moving into a new uptrend but we'll take a look at it anyway I'm calling this a setup on Visa and that is it for today uh, it's Friday so have a great weekend thanks for watching and happy trading